Well, more than 3 million Americans are now seeking unemployment benefits. That has more than quadrupled the previous record that was set in 1982. The numbers here in Texas, though, well, they are up 860 percent. The massive spike in new jobless claims comes as the stay-at-home orders remain in effect, closing all of those non-essential businesses. Channel 2's Sophia Ojeda joins us now live to show us how some businesses here in Houston are now adapting to all of these changes. Sophia. Good morning tonight. A lot of businesses have had to adapt to a large loss of their customer base here at Aranda's Bakery in Southwest Houston. They are now delivering bread to customers who may not be able to find it in stores. They're also delivering toilet paper if they need it. These days, Aranda's Bakery in Southwest Houston is open every day, bright and early, to get a head start on their bread making. The company has now shifted to delivering bread to their customers who can't find it in grocery stores. They've also continued to make birthday cakes for kids whose parties had to be canceled. And another perk, getting toilet paper to families who need it. We know toilet paper has been really hard to find nowadays. We got some through our suppliers, and if you need some, we have it. If you buy a cake and you mention something, we'll send you a roll of toilet paper so that at least you can enjoy some sweets and have some of the essentials that are needed right now. Another local company is also working hard to change their plans. Suncoast Resources, a fuel company who recently had to lay off some workers, has now gone into the disinfectant business. The company is buying sanitizer in tankfuls and distributing it to businesses who need it the most. But it's definitely something that's enabling us to keep people busy, keep guys here in the office, and it's helping to fill in while we're making it through these hard times. And businesses are still facing some shortfalls. Suncoast says that because of the high demand, they're having trouble finding bottles to put that sanitizer in, but they say they are still going to push forward, still try to stay in business and keep people working. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.